Today our Devo, our devotion, is from 1 Chronicles chapter 22, and it's all about the building of the temple, that wonderful temple that David wanted to build, but Solomon would eventually build. David wanted to build a house, a temple for the Lord, but the Lord told him, David, you're a man of war, you have blood on your hands. Not that his battles and his wars and all that he was involved in was wrong or ungodly, but God wanted the temple to represent peace. He wanted it to represent rest. And so he would have Solomon build it. Now, David prepared for it, David got it all ready, but Solomon would be the one who built it. Just, just kind of like God wanted the body of Christ to be uh, not, not a place of conflict, not a place of war, but a place of rest, a place of peace. So the church would be built by the Prince of Peace, by Jesus himself. So we have this wonderful picture here in 1 Chronicles of David preparing a temple, really, that his son could build. So David would prepare it, and Solomon would build it. It's kind of like the church. God gifts all of us in different ways. Some, some sow, some plant, some reap. You know, we all have different gifts, and yet we're all part of the body. You know, it's kind of like that verse in Zechariah, where not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So David's going to be kind of the, the impetus behind it, but Solomon will be the builder. And at that time when Solomon will build it, things would be at rest. Things would be at peace. So God is building again a temple, not, not a temple made out of stone, but out of people where he dwells. And he desires to use me. He desires to use you all of our different giftings and all of the different parts of the body inhabited by the spirit that the lord is building on earth even right now it's the temple you and i the church the temple of the lord so so let me encourage you as you read through first chronicles chapter 27 li listen to what it says it says david commanded all the leaders of israel to help solomon his son is not the lord your god with you and has he not given you rest on every side? For he has given the inhabitants of the land into my hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Therefore arise and build a sanctuary of the Lord God. So here's the deal. In some way he says that to you and I. Has, has the Lord not given you rest? Has the Lord not given you peace on every side? Has he not given you a spirit? So do your part. Do what God has gifted and called you to do and be a part of this holy temple that's inhabited by Jesus that he's called all of us with our different giftings to build.